when 0.273 grams of magnesium is heated strongly in an N2 nitrogen atmosphere, a chemical reaction occurs. The product of the reaction weighs 0.378 grams. Calculate the empirical formula of the compound containing magnesium and nitrogen. So, okay, we've got magnesium in an N2 nitrogen environment. Okay, now these two react to form a single compound that contains magnesium and nitrogen, but we don't know the empirical formula of this compound. So we can say that the resulting compound contains X magnesium atoms and Y nitrogen atoms. Okay, so now let's balance this chemical equation. So if we put an X here, now we've got X magnesiums on the left and X magnesiums on the right. And if we put a Y over two here, now we've got Y nitrogens on the left and Y nitrogen on the right. Okay, so now what we can do is we can use stoichiometry to calculate in terms of X and Y how many moles of this MGXNY compound are produced from 0.273 grams of magnesium. So, okay, if we start off with 0.273 grams of magnesium, let's convert this to moles. So the molar mass of magnesium is 24.305. So you've got 24.305 grams of magnesium for every one mole of magnesium. Okay, so now using the stoichiometric equivalency for every X moles of magnesium consumed, one mole of this MGXNY compound is produced. Okay, but now let's convert this to grams of this MGXNY. So what's the molar mass of MGXNY? Okay, so molar mass of magnesium is 24.305. Molar mass of nitrogen is 14.007. Okay, so this is grams of MGXNY, this many grams for every mole of MGXNY. Okay, so if we multiply all of this out and simplify the expression in terms of X and Y, we get... Okay, so you have this many grams of MGXNY produced when 0.273 grams of magnesium are consumed in this reaction. Well, it tells us how many grams of this magnesium nitrogen compound are produced, 0.378. So we can set this equal to 0.378. Okay, so now let's divide X by each term in the numerator. Okay, now let's subtract 0.273 from both sides, 0.105. Okay, now let's divide both sides by 0 0.105, 1.5. Okay, now let's divide both sides by y over x, and, and you get x over y is equal to 1.5, which is 3 halves. So the empirical formula is the simplest ratio of whole numbers. Well, that's 3 over 2. So in the empirical formula, x is 3 and y is 2. And there you go, magnesium nitride.